So God has been really, really good to us. So thank you. All right. So one of the retreat classes is called Simply Xenia. And there is a brand new um, suite coming out. And for my demo friends, help me with this. Does it debut on March 5th, which is a Tuesday? Um, I think it does. This suite is amazing. The, the, the designer paper is unbelievable. So I wanna show you the cards for the Xenia class, okay? So if you are coming to retreat and you signed up for class, you're going to get this class with a lot of product. If you're um, an online customer, it'll be in your retreat in the box if you signed up for it. I have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I have about seven extra kits. That's it. All right. So um, if you're if you're if you signed up for my retreat, the class is 3250. Again, it's 20 cards, 20 envelopes, and tons of product. And um, if you like this class, but you didn't sign up for retreat, it will be available to you, but at a higher price, okay? I try and price it like really, really cheap for my retreat attendees, okay? <laughs> okay, all right, well, here we go. Let's look at them, okay? 20 cards, 20 envelopes, and here's one of them. I love these words, words fall. Fail to express my gratitude. Words fail to express my gratitude. So that's the first. The, you will make two of each one. So that's eight cards right there. Okay? Two of each one. And here's the next one. You'll make two of each one of these. All right? And I'll hold this one close. You can see that stamped image of the Xenia. We've got this beautiful, beautiful die cut, gorgeous designer paper. Hey, Lisa. And then we've got two each of these that you'll be creating. By the way, the embellishments are not even on the cards yet. I still need to do that. Here is one of the cards with the embellishments. You're going to make two of these and two of these. All right. Again, I need to add embellishments. Hello, Pam. How are you? I'm so glad y'all like them. So this is your class. You're going to get a package of embellishments. You're going to get a package of designer paper. You're going to get 20 cards, 20 envelopes. They're note card size to give you an idea. So I'm very happy you like them. I think these are probably my very favorite. All right. Oh, thank you, Bess. I'm glad you like the cards. Thank you. I know. I can't wait either. Super excited. Oh, my gosh. All right. Now, this evening, um, any questions regarding the class? If, you, if you're coming to retreat, you haven't signed up for the class, it is $32.50. And that includes, um, you know, everything, all the embellishments and things like that. Oh my gosh, Carol, I'm so glad you like them. And the embezzlements are the very best part, absolutely. All right. I love, love, love the, um, absolutely love the designer paper. All right, gosh. Um, all of you know that celebration is about to end. That's going to end next Wednesday on February 29th. Um, it's also, you still have time to sign up on my team, get this amazing glass mat with cleaner and tray, $99 kit, select $129 worth of product, it's free shipping, it is a no-brainer. So if you are not a demonstrator, this is an amazing time for you to sign up, all right? Okay, so tonight it's all about the Stippled Roses Bundle. Now, I do not have my catalog at the table tonight, so if someone wants to look it up in their mini catalog, let us know what page it's on. That would be absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Diane, I see your comment about the leaves and the veins in the leaves, <laughs> talking about the Xenia class. <laughs> Diane cut... 
Diane, how many leaves did you cut today? Did you cut 88 or was it more than that? So your leaves are cut for the Xenia class. They're all die cut for you. So, and Diane was in charge of that along with the veins for the leaves, so. All right, so that's stippled roses. And then, um, let's see. There is a designer paper that coordinates with it. And it's a celebration product. And so when you uh, uh, place a minimum $50 order, you can select this designer paper absolutely free. So page 64, thank you, Sue. Page 64, you're gonna find your stippled roses. This set does all the work for you. All you have to do is stamp. Use your designer paper, and you're going to have some drop-dead gorgeous cards. All right. <laughs> yes, Mary Kay did cut some of those leaves, too. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Diane is referring to this leaf right here in Mossy Meadow. And then, do you see that old olive vein? that's attached to it. We did made those today. We made 88 of those. All right. And so um, they're all done for you when you come to class. Isn't that awesome? So that's what we were referring to. All right. Hello, Carolyn. How are you tonight? Good to have you. All right, so let's talk designer paper. I do have this in front of me, and I do want to show you how beautiful the, the, it is. Um, and again, I don't have my, mag, my book in front of me, my catalog, because I only got home about two hours ago, and um, I don't know the name of it. Let me see. Maybe the, It's called Softly Stippled Designer Paper. That's what it's called. And then here is the opposite side. You're going to notice colors of Calypso Coral, Wild Wheat, Pool Party. I think I already said Calypso Coral. Um, basic Gray. Isn't this just beautiful? Just love, love, love the paper. And I did mention pool party. We're going to be using this piece tonight. There's that wild weed again. And then we have this piece right here. Oh, Lost Lagoon is another one of the colors. Lost Lagoon, pool party, wild wheat. Um, just lots of good stuff. So that's the paper. This is what the stamp set looks like right here. And I'm going to show you the dies. The dies are right here. Now, um, you'll be able to stamp and cut out these two large roses. There is a single rose, and then there are leaves from um, the roses, okay? Right here are some drop-dead gorgeous leaves. Oh, my gosh. These flowers here and the blooms can go here, okay? So um, just beautiful, uh, beautiful die cuts in this set. And they're not that many. There are seven dies in the entire set. Seven dies, all right? Now I'm going to show you the cards, and we're going to get really busy, all right? I will be giving these away this evening. This is going to be our first one. And if you're in one of my local hostess clubs, you've already had the opportunity to make this card this month. So there's that one. Our next card is right here. So I'm going to show you how to cut your designer paper on the diagonal. And one more. And yes, we are giving away all three of them. All right. So there they are. Thank you, Ruth. 
All right, so these are tonight's cards, and I did forget to introduce myself this evening. I got so carried away with the babies in the Xenia class. So for anyone who's joining this evening for the first time, welcome to Facebook Live in the Hive. My name is Tammy Shia, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm very happy that you've chosen to spend time with us this evening. All right, and, I, and by the way, I'm here every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Well, here we go, ladies, all right? So this is our first card that we're working on, and let's go ahead... And we are going to start with a Lost Lagoon card base, all right? This is just a standard card base. For those coming to retreat, I will have these on display, all right? Then we're going to add some wild wheat to the Lost Lagoon card base. Your wild wheat is measuring four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna grab my ruler. Let me get that real quick. All righty. So again, wild wheat, it's a card base layer. Oh, here are the correct dimensions. I gave you the wrong ones. It's four and one eighth of an inch and five and three eighths of an inch, all right? Hello, Margaret from North Carolina, Suzanne from Sydney. That's pretty amazing. Hello, Sharon. Now we also are going to use this piece of designer paper, so let's measure it. This is the opposite side. You know, Corinne, it's interesting that you mentioned this about wild wheat because um, I'm a little scared to use it myself, but look at it with Lost Lagoon. Can you believe the color combination? I mean, it's really, really pretty. All right, so Air Designer Paper is going to measure four inches by five and a quarter inches. All right, so we'll get these added and I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit just makes it a little bit easier in my workspace I think did I just run out of tape hmm all right so we're gonna add this layer and you're really just gonna have about an eighth of an inch all the way around okay and then we're going to add the very next layer. And we are going to get this centered as well. And again, about an eighth of an inch all the way around. <laughs> I'm being very brave, Margo, because I don't use it a lot. I'm scared to death of it. But look at the colors together in the designer paper. I mean, it really encourage you, encourages you, you know, to give it a try, right? All right. We're going to bring out another piece of designer paper. So you can see what this one looks like. I have already die cut it. I'll show you the die. It is from the Scalloped Contours dies. And it is this one right here. And so it's going to be one, two, three, number four, smallest to largest. That is the die that you're using, all right? All righty. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop this up, yep. I'm using dimensionals again, and I need big dimensionals. Let me grab some. All right, 
So when I said big dimensionals, I mean standard Stampin' Dimensionals. And we can even put one in the middle for support. I know, pop away, right, Margaret? <laughs> Sue, I see your comment. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> all right, I think I got it all there. And we're now going to center this. And then we're gonna do some stamping, okay? So there we are, that's the very first part of the card. I'll hold it up closer to the camera so you can see it. And now I'm going to take a piece of basic white cardstock, okay? Mine is measuring four and a quarter by five and a half inches, but you really don't need a piece that large. And you might have some scrap basic white cardstock anyway, um, you know, in, in a drawer. All right, so this is um, our stamped image. Um, it is a large stamp, and you'll see two roses here. It's larger than the ink pad, so I like to ink it upside down. It's just a whole lot easier and probably less messy. <laughs> yes, Sue, she does. <laughs> Oh gosh, all right. So as you can see, I had a pretty big piece of basic white cardstock. I'm stamping over to the left so I can at least trim it and use some of the scraps later. All right, and there it is. So the stamp has done all the work. How gorgeous is that? All you had to do was ink the stamp. Just, just beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and do, stamp our greeting, and then we're gonna do a little die cutting. Now for the greeting, let's measure this. Um, this is three inches by a half inch, all right? And I did cut some extra just in case I stamp this crooked. All right, I didn't do too badly. Let's close our ink. And I'm going to be bringing out some post-it note tape and the die. And I'm gonna tape it to the paper. There's our big die right there. And this is an easy one to align. It really is a very beautiful stamp. All right, so I'm gonna use a little post-it tape. And I'll put a little piece there. I probably didn't need such a long piece. And I think that will work as well. So I'm gonna zoom out and grab our machine. And we're gonna lay that right there. Now, if you have the mini machine, this will work, all right? All the dies will work in the mini embossing machine, all right? Just in case you're wondering. All right. I have, to, I have a sweater on tonight, and I have to keep pulling the sleeves up on it. Oh, Corinne says, this is the ones that I didn't get, but I do have the paper, and the paper is pretty gorgeous. All right, I'll zoom in a little bit for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put my die back. I've been famous lately for misplacing dies, so I'm trying to be more 
conscientious of it. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring those roses in, okay? And we're going to pop it up as well. I appreciate that too, Lori. Lori says, I appreciate that the stamp does all the coloring. I don't, I don't care to color, and this makes me appreciate the stamps even more. Yes, it, and you know, I like to color, but maybe not all the time. Or if I'm making a lot of cards, then maybe coloring is just a little too much. And so um, it is nice because the work is done for you. But if you love to color, then you also have that option. That's a great, Donna wants to know if the dye will cut the roses on the DSP. I tried that, Donna, I think about a week ago, and I don't think so. I think the flowers in the DSP are much smaller. So I was actually surprised by that. We are going to just position that diagonally. And then I'm gonna bring in some drop dead gorgeous leaves. I've already taken the time to cut these. This is part, um, this is one of the dies in the set. This is cut out in Lost Lagoon cardstock. And this one is cut out in Wild Wheat cardstock. So um, I wanted, you can definitely use adhesive sheets for these leaves, okay? But I wanted my leaves to be a little free uh, flowing and not stuck to the paper. And so um, that's why I didn't use the adhesive, all right? I'm gonna show you how I tack this on uh, two ways. We'll do it this way first. You see these solid images? This is where you can put a little bit of glue, all right? So hang tight. And then we'll lay that down like that. And that's our first leaf. And this one, I just need to kind of poke out these little pieces real quick. So let me do that. These, oh my gosh, these leaves are so gorgeous. If anyone wants me to bring this to retreat, let me know. I'll make sure that I pack it. All right. And again, just adding a little bit of glue right there. Just a tiny bit. And then I can position this one to do the same. I'll zoom in a little bit closer for you now. And hopefully you'll get a good idea of the coloring. We are going to add the greeting. And guess what? I'm going to pop this up too. We'll put a dimensional there and there. And then we're just going to lay this across just like that. I have some iridescent foil gems and I'm gonna use these as well. Now these can be a little hard to see on the card, but if you were receiving the card, you would notice them. And they really, really are pretty. So I'm gonna put one down there and I'll, I'll give you a close up. You know what? That needs adhesive. I picked the embellishment up, but not the adhesive that goes with it. So we'll put one there. And let's see, I'll put one there. These come in two different sizes. For this project, I am using large ones. So three large ones, but you could do a large and two small. And this is our card. And we're gonna give it away this evening, okay? Along with two more cards. So hang in there 
and we'll get some names drawn tonight for that. So I hope you like this card. This was our Hostess Club card this uh, month. And again, the paper's doing the work for this card. The leaves are doing the work for this card and this stamped image. So very basic stamping and die cutting, putting together, and then it looks really, really pretty. I love this card. And I had made so many for Hostess Club trying to decide. I wanted to make them all. <laughs> so, but there it is. That's our first card this evening. Okay, now I'm gonna bring in our second card and you are going to notice the color scheme is basically the same. I had a hard time moving away from it. You're gonna notice that I've stamped the roses here in wild wheat. This one is stamped in Lost Lagoon. So, Let's bring in the paper trimmer and we're gonna talk about how to cut your paper on the diagonal, okay? And I'm so glad y'all like the card. Thank you so much. Okay. And here's the card again. I'm looking for the designer paper. It's like, what did I do with it? Just looking for my paper, that's all. Here we go, right here. All right, so this is a piece that we're gonna use and it has a lot of pool party in this piece, okay? So we're gonna cut this designer paper at four inches. And then we're going to cut it at five and a quarter inches. Okay, so this is the piece we're using, and now what I'm gonna do is, I am going to turn this designer paper on the diagonal. You're going to notice that I am putting that corner, the point of that corner, right there in the cutting blade track. I am also doing the same down here this point also has to go on this cutting board track, okay? On the cutting blade, excuse me. So point to point is what we're doing. And I'm actually gonna kind of start in the middle. There we go. Sometimes when you start to cut on this point, it will, the paper will, the blade will snag it. So when you're cutting from, on a point, Start in the middle and then go up and then go down in your cutting. Does that make sense? I hope it does. All right, so let's look to make sure that we have the correct triangle. Yep, this will absolutely work. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna flip this over, but this piece is not fitting. So we're going to do this again. This is the remainder of the designer paper. And this time I'm going to, I know it's at four, but I need to trim it at five and a quarter. So let me do that. So you'll notice I have cut two pieces of designer paper to create this card, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is, I am going to put this designer paper from point to point, and I'll show you again, okay? Instead of cutting on the end where the point is, because it'll snag it, I'm just gonna start in the middle and then move up and down, okay? And so now I have two more triangles cut and this is what I needed, okay? So I was able to cut both pieces, but I needed um, two designer paper sheets, four by five and a quarter, okay? So I hope that makes sense. And then these are the leftover points, and you can use these on another card, all right? So keep all those triangles. All righty, this one's a really super fun card to put together, super easy. 
Let me get my tray over here. We're gonna start with pool party. And we have um, a pool party card base. All right. And it measures five and a half by eight and a half. That's a half a sheet of cardstock. And we're gonna take our snail. Actually, you know what I'm gonna use on this? I'm gonna use the multi-purpose glue, okay? And I'll show you why. We've got these little points that we want it to stick to um, the card base. And so with this multi-purpose glue, I can get in these corners, okay? And it also gives me wiggle room when I go to add it to the card base. And I know some people solely use the multi-purpose glue for um, all their card making. They've gotten used to it and they love it. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fill this corner just like this, okay? And it went on very easily. Aren't these fun colors? How many of you ever thought about putting wild wheat with pool party or with Lost Lagoon? How crazy is that, right? We're gonna do the same over here. Let's use that multi-purpose glue again. And you just need a tiny, tiny bit. A tiny bit goes a long, long ways. Hello, Kathleen, welcome. We are creating cards with stippled roses tonight, plus this amazing designer paper. All right. I need to clean my, my, um, my glass cutting mat, don't I? I've got some adhesive on it. All right, so that there it is, cutting on the diagonal, super easy to do. Now, I've already taken the time to cut this out because you've already seen me do this before. You've seen me stamp it and cut it out. And to save us a little bit of time, I went ahead and did this. And this is inked and stamped in wild wheat. All right. And I'm gonna add dimensionals. There's no rule as far as how many dimensionals one must add. So just add as many as you want. Whatever makes you happy. They're about a penny a piece. Now I'm gonna peel off the paper. And this time we're gonna put the bigger rows at the top. I should really give one of these cards to my mother-in-law because her name is Rose. All right, now here is our pool party leaf. So we're gonna pop out these little pieces first. Again, this one's in pool party. I've already die cut one in wild wheat as well. All right, and they just popped right out. Yes, you must have dimensionals. Absolutely. Again, I'm going to go back and use this multi-purpose glue. I'll clean my mat later. After class. So I'm just adding a little bit. And I'll pick this up. And we can put this one about right here. Yes, you could use adhesive sheets. That's a great alternative to the multi-purpose glue. Now this um, um, stem leaves, um, I actually cut this one out using designer paper, all right? And so here's the opposite side. You can see some of that designer paper, okay? I'm trying to remember which one I cut it out of. Um, but anyway, isn't that pretty? Let me see if I can find it. Can I find it? I don't know. I 
don't know. I don't see to, seem to have another piece of that, but you can use any of the designer paper, okay, and cut out a leaf, which is exactly what I did. Oh, Gail says, my corgi ate a paper off the dimensional that fell on the floor this week. <laughs> and how is our corgi doing, Gail? I hope he's okay. I find them all over the house all the time. And I'm sure y'all do as well. All right. So this one's going to go about right here. Go on, go under there. There we go. All right. And now we are going to use basic black, um, not basic black, excuse me, basic white. I'm not sure why I said that. But um, this die right here is from the postage dies, perennial postage dies. And I am using this one, all right? So that's the, the die that I used to cut this out. Kathleen says she's using wild wheat with the coffee cups. I cannot wait to get to that sweet, Kathleen. We're talking about another sweet that will be released on um, March 5th. And it is, it's just darling. Okay, now I have to remember, where did I get, oh, I got the Sending Thanks. Let me bring in the original. The Sending Thanks actually came from the stamp set. This one right here, Stippled Roses. I'm going to grab a block. I need it to grab a block and we're gonna ink it in pool party, okay? So, let's make some space and let's see if I can get this straight. Whoop, let's do another one. I did not push hard enough. Look at that. So I had it straight, I just didn't push it, the stamp hard enough. There we are, sending thanks. And this is gonna get popped up as well. I love to pop up the greetings. Diane says her 12 week golden retriever pup ate three cards. Oh my gosh, that I made before I <laughs> got the, even got to the em embellishments. Hilarious, oh my gosh. That is crazy, Diane. I hope I hope your pup is okay. <laughs> Gail's been fussy cutting coffee cups. Oh my gosh, you girls, you're working so hard. That is awesome. All right, this time I'm gonna use my take your pick tool and we're just gonna add again, these are the iridescent foil gems. If you purchased my um, uh, embellishment chair, you've got these, okay? And now we're gonna use a little one and we'll put that one right there. By the way, we're giving away this card this evening. Hello, Rhonda. <laughs> this is, I, I love all these stories of babies <laughs> and animals eating pieces of our cards. That's great. Too funny. Too, too funny. All right. So that is card number two, everyone. Card two. We'll be giving it away. And I have one more card for you. Okay. All right, everyone, so let me get my sample here. I am doing another card using this same technique of cutting on the diagonal, okay? 
So look at the intricate leaves on this die piece. Is this not gorgeous? I mean, it is just drop dead gorgeous, these leaves. Just so gorgeous, gosh. All right, now I have a piece of paper right here and you're gonna notice that we're using this again with our paper trimmer. So we need to come in and we need to trim at four inches. Because remember, we need a four inch piece, okay? And then we're gonna trim it at five and a quarter. And I may need this one too, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim it at five and a quarter. I may need both of those. All right. So to cut this one, again, it's the very same technique as what we did with the last card, okay? I've got my point here right where the blade is or where it goes, okay? So from point to point, okay? From point to point. And I'm not gonna start cutting on that point because I could snag the designer paper. So I'm just gonna do it like that, all right? And then when I do that, this piece will go right here. Okay, all right, now here we're going to need to cut another piece of this paper to get the correct triangle. We're gonna go back, we're gonna do the very same thing, but we'll now flip it over to the opposite side of the paper. I'm loving the diagonal too, isn't it fun? We've done it before, but it's been a really long time. Okay, point to point. Okay, paper is four by five and a quarter inches. We're gonna separate these two, and this is where this piece is going to go. All right, you're gonna save your extra pieces, and you'll probably be able to use those on another card, okay? So we will start with a basic gray card base. And again, I'm gonna use the multi-purpose liquid glue. It works great for this. So y'all are gonna have to try some of those diagonal cards. So pretty. All right. And we're gonna pick this up. And, oh, you know what? I've got this side. So we are going to add this right along here. And you have about a quarter of an inch all the way around, okay? Hi, Deborah. welcome. Deborah, when uh, the broadcast is over, go back and watch the first part so you can see the class Simply Xenias that I'm doing for the retreat, okay? You might be interested in seeing that. All right, here we go. We're gonna add some more multi-purpose liquid glue here on this side. You need just a little bit. Don't be scared of it. We'll go all the way down. I like to get in that little corner there. We'll do it just like that. <laughs> All right. I know, right? Doesn't this look complicated? It's not. You will so impress your friends. They'll, they'll be like, how did you ever do this? Okay. Oops. It slid on me, but guess what? It's very forgiving. Okay. I didn't do such a hot job on this one. I'm a little crooked here, as you can see. All right. So I wasn't as neat as I could have been on this one. All right. So now we're going to add roses again. Again, you saw me stamp and cut this out with the very first card. I just love this piece so much. And we're gonna pop it up. Mm 
My fingers are feeling a little sticky. All right. Yeah, sometimes when you cut that paper on a diagonal, that blade can kind of tear up the point of the designer paper. So you want to be careful with that. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you like these cards, Joyce. Um, Joyce, the first one I did tonight was part of Hostess Club. So you actually have that in your bag, okay? It is in your bag that I gave you today. All right. So there we are. So, so easy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this intricate die is that just not gorgeous I just love that we're gonna put some um, glue on it an adhesive sheet would all would also be appropriate use for this that would work well I am just gonna do just a couple with this and then flip it over all right Oh, the blueberries would work well, Kathleen. I have the blueberries. I have not touched them yet. And I need to. I need to, I need to. Really want to um, make cards with that. Okay. So there's our first one. Now you have to remember, I didn't put glue on all of the leaves, okay? And that was on purpose. All right, gives it a little bit of a lift, a little dimension. All right, <laughs> Gail, I'm reading. I'm reading what you wrote about me. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know it's so easy to be tempted, isn't it? You see one card made with something, and then it's like, well, I guess I got to have that now, right? All right, easy enough. And we're gonna put this one over here. So even though these, these cards, I feel like these cards look elegant and look how easy they were. You know, they were really easy to do. All right, let's add, um, oh, you know what? We've got an add a greeting. So that's what we're gonna do next, okay? All right, a little bit of stamping. Gotta have a greeting. And I need to get a piece of paper to stamp on. Okay. I'm going to use this. And we're going we're gonna to ink this up in Calypso Coral. And we're going to use Best Birthday Wishes. So I'm inking the greeting in Calypso Coral. By the way, this greeting is part of the Stippled Roses bundle. I'm going to stamp another one just in case I goof and the die slips, okay? Because that could happen, as we all know. And the die that I'm going to use on this one is from Apple Harvest, and I'm gonna show you the die. Oh, good question, Ruth. Ruth, this is basic gray, okay? And if you don't have basic gray ink, use the black memento ink. That would look really nice with it as well. So this die here is the one I'm going to use, and it's from the Apple Harvest, okay? I, I love this die. And we're gonna straighten this up. And let's see. Where did my tape go? Yes, you could use, yes. If you didn't wanna color the roses with um, 
the blends, you could use blending brushes. Absolutely, Corinne. And there was something else I was just thinking too. What was it? Also, you know what you can do? Take your wink of Stella, and um, I don't have mine over here, but when you color with it, that wink of Stella will move that ink, and that is also a great um, coloring technique to do. I'm gonna zoom all the way out, and if you remind me, I'll show you that coloring technique with, um, with the Wink of Stella. I just need to walk across the room to get it, which I've been doing all night. Have y'all noticed I've been walking across the room all night because I don't have everything right here at my fingertips? All right, here we go. Sorry for the camera shaking there. All right, and we should be good here. I think we did fairly well with our post-it tape. We did. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. I don't think it's worth redoing. Unless you're a perfectionist, and then of course you could. You could. All right. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to bring this back in, and we're going to add dimensionals to it. Let's see here. I can probably use my regular size ones. Yep. All right. Ooh, you could do watercolor pencils, yes. Oh, and Kathleen says she always uses the Wink of Stella on flowers. Well, that's a really good tip, Kathleen. I'm glad to know that. Very good. All right, we're gonna add this right on across here. And then I'm gonna take some embezzlements, as my husband likes to call them. And we're going to add a few of the pebbled path. And by the way, if you don't have basic gray, you can use um, the pebbled path um, cardstock. That would be absolutely fine. All right, and we're going to use one more. And let's see where I want to put this. I'm going to put that one, I'm going to put it way over here. I could probably add more, or maybe it's going to get lost over there. But that is our third card this evening. I am going to give away all three of them tonight, so I'm going to get them all back out, okay? And again, for coloring the roses, you have so many options. Number one, you don't have to color at all. Number two, you can use blends. Three, watercolor pencils. Um, four blending brushes, and five, your Wink of Stella pen, all right? Because the Wink of Stella will move the ink for you, all right? All right, well, give me just a few minutes. I'm going to get out all three cards for you, and we're going to pick some winners this evening, okay? So hang in there.